Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today I'm here with James from Sharp Automotive down in San Diego, which by the way, I highly recommend go check these guys out because of what we're about to show you. It's a 1964 GMC C10. Well, the only thing original about it is the body. Right. Um, everything else has been touched and customized. Let's go through the build. So, so do you start with, is it a good truck? It was torn apart. It was body panels, basically yeah. just a chassis with some wheels on it. It's actually a chopping block chassis is what we got a hold of when the customer had it already. What is the color of this? This is a Toyota color. It's called Shoreline Blue. Well, let's pop the hood then and see what you guys started with under here. This is a LS3 6.2 liter. The exhaust on it is a handmade stainless steel headers and exhaust all the way back. And so what kind of power? Is it stock LS3? So it is a stock LS3. Um, obviously the exhaust is not, and the we do HP tuning in-house. We're guessing off of what stock numbers are, maybe about 500 horsepower. Okay. These are really super unique, these inner fenders you did. Yeah, usually you see everyone, they have the round tubs, or, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. We mm -hmm. wanted to kind of go square with the, like the body is a little yeah, bit. With everything else, right. really interesting. I've never, I can't say I've seen that before. And what, what does it go transmission with it? It's a 6L80 uh -huh. uh, automatic mm -hmm. stock, nothing crazy. Right. Uh, the rear end is a narrowed nine inch with a 410 gears. And the stance, I mean, obviously the, you know, air gives you that certain stance, but the, uh, just seeing the, the ride height of the truck, it still sits pretty low. Yeah, a good comfortable ride height for this is maybe four inches off the ground, right. super smooth. You don't have to worry about bodying out or anything like that. How about as far as like brakes and, and wheels and sizes and stuff? What? Uh, 20 inch uh, steel, Detroit Steely wheels. Uh, the wheel wood brakes, there are 12s in the front, 12 inch rotors and 11s in the back. Here's my thing that stands out right away to me, dude, is gloss against the matte really sets it off, right? Mm -hmm. Same color, I'm assuming, just yes. a matte finish exactly to it, right? Exactly what it is, yep. And then again with the wheel, that inner color choice against the polished barrel, it's not jarring, but there's a lot of shiny going on. Right, know? yeah, really and the wheels are well. the same color as a chassis. Wow, this is really trick back here, dude. This is the fuel cell. All of this right here was mimicked to copy the fuel lines. Mm -hmm. So these are all hard lines that we built that went into a bulkhead into the chassis. So all the fuel lines, electrical, everything runs in the chassis to the front of the vehicle. Nothing is exposed anywhere. But yeah, all these are all hand bent, you know, from, from our guys at the shop. Yeah. Airlines included. They all come out of the air tank and come across the chassis into the bag. Do you guys do interior in-house as well? We do some stuff like the carpet. Mm -hmm. We did the carpet. Um, the actual door panels, this one here. Um, the headliner, everything was done by a company called AP Auto Upholstery in Miramar. The back window actually rolls down. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And then the other way he rolls it back up. That's bitching. Yes. What are the gauges? They're really slick. Those are Dakota digital gauges. I like how it's all separate gauges rather than a... One big cluster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the AccuWare controller and the actual screen there, it's a Pioneer screen, is recessed into the dash a little bit. This right here, if you guys are feeling froggy, that's the line lock button for the front. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. And it does have a full stereo system too. If you look here in the kick panels, it's a six inch, four inch and a tweeter there. I gotta say, like, I love the Sparco wheel, man. It fits in here so perfectly. I'm kind of laughing at myself right now. <laughs> Typically, I don't run out of questions and I'm looking at this thing right. going, wow, it's just... No, I, I think that's honest, about dude, it. I see a lot of stuff. This thing's beautiful, man. All right, man, well, let's, we'll get some you know, cool beauty shots of it, and then right. we'll take it out for a drive. We're Sounds gonna take good. it for a drive in a few minutes, you guys, and uh, we'll introduce you to Vic, the owner, and we'll hear the story that comes with this build. So you guys, this is Vic. Vic's the owner of the truck. You've owned the truck for 30 years. Yeah. Well, first of all, you know, where we grew up, it was dairy land out in Chino and Corona and all okay. that area back yeah. in the day. Yeah. And he found this thing out in, uh, out off the side of the road and he picked it up. And uh, about a week later, I bought it from him. Was it like kind of farm truck? Oh, it was totally farm truck. I mean, it was patina 30 years ago. It was patina. You know, a few years later, I said, okay, we're we're gonna do this right, you know? So it's been fun. Well, I, I tell you, dude, between 
between whatever elements and like I said and I, and I really mean this I, I I'm like every other guy I just have an opinion I I'm not mechanical I, I I simply get to see and be around a lot of vehicles I'm knocked out by the work that's been done on this truck the paint Quality body work, is man. exceptional Quality work. These guys I, have, have. I can tell right now, sitting in the passenger seat, it feels like you've got a really stable. Drive it down the road and enjoy the hell out of it. You know, you just you you could forget about it. You just yeah. get in the car and, and drive it and drive it. And you know that's what me and Mama do. You know, we the <laughs> wife and I just I take it. off. We go to the beach and lay it out. It gets a ton of attention. Of course, and, it you know, does. It's, yeah. uh, it's just good times. You know. So these white walls are, this is one-off white walls? They're, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess the guy does them, but I had to wait forever. And he's like, yeah, I got to make them. And I said, yeah, make them, you know, so. a million times right there's there's power to weight ratios and in my personal opinion in that 500 ish range you can mat the throttle yeah have fun you can do burnouts it's gonna accelerate hard yep like all the fun in the world though without having to thousand horsepower I, that, mean, I mean that's a completely different level that I don't even know how to drive that kind of car that's just like that's, that's just, enough that's, that's enough fun power range, that's man. fun for me dude that that is fun for me that's fun drivable power to me right yeah, there it is you're more than welcome to drive it thank you be We're, my honor yeah uh okay you know what when we pull in here let's switch seats real quick and okay. i'll do but I want you to do the burnout. I don't know. Okay. I don't know yeah. the, the tendencies of what your truck's gonna do. Oh yeah, that's funny. Oh, it just feels a ton of it feels yeah, a ton of brake. Feels different on the passenger side. It's the first does. time I've been a passenger. Is it really? Yeah, it's the first ah, time I've ever I can't tell a... you how many times I've heard people say that. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever been a passenger. Oh my god. On drag. Perfect. That's awesome. That was badass. <laughs> Yeah, it gets a little squirrely on you. Big thanks to my buddy Dean and SoCal Classic Car Storage for always making us feel at home and giving us a place to shoot down in Orange County. Big thanks to James and to Vic for bringing the truck up to us from San Diego to shoot. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful build, man. I'm definitely knocked out by this one. And as always, a huge thanks to you guys for hanging and watching what we do and supporting what we do. I genuinely appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later. <laughs>